hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so this is going to be part two of marrying somebody you don't love so the part one of this video is um is it the channel the last video we posted last video i posted was a part one sorry for the delay in the part two so we're just going to continue from where we stopped the last time so we'll start from where i said um the other person that i didn't love was actually pressurizing me putting pressure oh that december is a target he must you know marry before december or honor before december like that was his target so yeah of a truth i was very sure like very very sure too sure that this wasn't what i wanted you understand but i really needed to still be sure to avoid regrets do you understand because it's good not to rush into conclusion I didn't want to just rush into conclusion, I needed to be sure, I needed to hear from God, so I was praying. Then I told you guys that I, I spoke to five persons, and four persons out of the five were just, okay, three, because the first person was the person that said that I shouldn't go for this, so was the person that said that, oh, this particular guy that I don't love, I shouldn't go for him, that God told him that, if I marry this guy, I will regret it, that it was shown to him, where I got married to this guy, and I was actually regretting it. So he advised me not to. You understand? That was what was shown to him. Then, other three, it was fine. Other two persons, no. Other three persons said contradicting things. Like they would come first and say, God said that I don't marry this guy. Then come back and say, hey, God says no longer this person. Now, this person. Do you understand? So, um, I did not make use of anything those three said. Because, how can... Like God is not an author of confusion. When God says this, A is A. Do you get it? God is not an author of confusion. Then there was one woman I pray with this lady. I know God, God uses her a lot. So I thought about her. I said, okay, let me just share what I've I have experienced so far with her. So I told her, look at look at these two verses, and I have had to discover my past. Look at they're even confusing me the more. Then she said, okay, I should not give her details. Let her pray about it. So when she did pray, she even had to write down information about it. She wrote Mr. A, told me, okay, Mr. A is from this place. Look at, he has money more than Mr. B. And just that his mommy's boy doesn't have one mind of his own. He can't make this on his own. You're legally going to get married to him. His parents are not him. Because whatever his parents say, he starts. So, and it was true because even the church was worshiping was a bit different from the one his family was worshiping but the family were now saying that we must not come and worship their own i don't know if you get the point like he had no mind of his own like it's not like it's a bad thing to worship in the church but it was so obvious that he cannot on his own say this is what i i want as a man so that was a big turn off for me so that one was aside so you now told me mr v look at what girl said he's just okay he's not too rich or you guys have think alike act alike you know you have almost the same vision so if you ask her if she was to be in my shoes she would choose mr b over mr a despite the fact that mr uh, a has more money, more capable, was even more ready. Do you understand? More ready, I mean, his financial. It's not like Mr. B was not ready to marry, but he had plenty of it. Do you understand? So that was it. So after that, I said, I said, okay, I just wanted to hear from God also. Like, wanted on my own to be really, really, really convinced. See, what I hate in my life is regret. I hate to regret anything so i was praying i was still praying i said god you know the same god we at the south night is pretty sad you can't speak to them why can't you talk to me talk to me i don't know, know how you're going to do it but i need you to speak to me so i was reading bible more than i used to because god talks to me through the bible i was reading bible then god showed me a particular verse oh gosh i've forgotten where Okay, before that, I told God, if you answer me, I'm going to do this, do that, do that for you. Seven nights of praise. I made promises to God. Then I was still praying. My God, my dear, my dear people, 
after even after the promises i did not hear anything i said okay since you don't want to answer me and i promise you all these things i'm going to fulfill my own part let me know that it's left for you to answer me god i went there even without seeing prayers i went and fulfilled everything i told god i started the lines of praises did everything I said, I said I was going to go to church, buy drinks, buy snacks. I just said them that help me and thank God for a good thing He has done for me. My dear, I went and bought, I did everything I said I was going to do to God. I bought the drinks, I bought snacks, gave to my church. I just told them to thank God that like He has done something marvelous for me. Mm -hmm. Children of God, so at that time, God has not done nothing. Like He has not done it, like He has not done that particular thing. But I just went, just a bit stuck ahead. So, I will tell you that that was when Father was what brought the cameras back. It's like God was God was moved. He 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 had to shake. You know he shaked for me. So that was when the reply actually came, and it came in form of verbal verse. It came. So I was praying. I did seven days. Was it three days or seven days? Like it was seven days. Midnight prayer. I will write their names, put in different chapters of the Bible. And I'll pray. After praying, there were other people, though, but those people were not as serious as these two. So I wrote the whole, everybody's name, folded in a paper, put them in the in the Bible. So after praying, I'll bring the names I wrote, like write names in a piece of paper, just like you know, fold it very well. As if you want to select, do you understand? So I put them in my palms. I will pray. I will capash. So after praying, I'll just put my hand. I say, God, direct me to the person. I'm going to do it for seven days. You are a God. You have proven yourself in so many ways. You are not an author of confusion. And I know that you have been showing me that you are God. Come here and make them for yourself. And God did make them for yourself. It will burst your bubble that the whole of the days, seven days I did this prayer, it was Mr. B that I picked. I didn't get to the I didn't get to pick the person that you know. Like by mistake, go. I don't know. It didn't happen. Even by mistake, it did not happen. I was point one answered and I was happy. Then when that one was gone, I now faced the real problem. The devil was ready for me. Then the next problem I had were my parents. So the, the devil struck from trying to confuse me. Then after that one was gone, he came again through my parents. My parents said, never. Hey, hey. I told them, see, see what God told me. God has convinced me. True Bible verse. Through Bible verses, it's not even one. See, there's yeah, something happened again that made me very much convinced. So that day, because I don't really want to mention where this person is from, you know, I don't just want to give out that information because he might not be, you know, all right, he might not be okay with me giving out information like that. But they said they didn't like where he was from that um where he was from the um people like if they marry people they still die early um they don't last in marriage uh so many things i did so i did my research i discovered that something like that might happen but it's not only it happens everywhere now uh, it's not only a particular place that like if a married woman dies then it's from the village so i was now asking myself, does that mean that no married man has ever died in my place before you know what it means you see their heart was just locked because they didn't just want me to marry out of my tribe that was just it they wanted me to marry from Igbo and <laughs> and the guy was on the Igbo. so that was the problem then though they said a lot of things that made me started to fear Fear started to call me. Then I did my research and thought it was not true. But then I went back again and I said, God, where I don't want to die. I don't want to die young. You understand? I don't want to go into the kind of marriage I will go into and I will die at a young age. Instead, 
get to not work. Do you understand? I'm scared tired. I don't even care if I get to lose both of them. I just want to make the right choice. I am not concerned. I think I'm more concerned about marrying right than just to marry. To the first guy, his target was to marry. My own target wasn't just to marry. My own target was to make sure I was not making the biggest mistake of my life. To make sure I wasn't making a mistake. I just wanted to get it right. Do you get? And he was seeing it that, Omo, oh, you're delaying me. I said, okay. Go on. And he pulled off. On his own, no. On his own, he did pull off. So why he left? So we were talking. I'm an Adventist. Yeah, you're seeing the class. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> I'm an Adventist. But for that, I'm not getting married to an Adventist. So. So. I might, not tend to, I might not get to marry an Adventist. Yeah. So, um, I just wanted to test it. So I called the first guy and I was like, see, my mom, they have okwa in my church. I would want the wedding to be in my church. I was just a test. I, I, like, it's never like I meant it. I didn't mean it to me. I didn't mean, like, it's not even a problem to me, but I just wanted to test them. So the first guy said, Mm, that he's Catholic and he would love it to be in Catholic. The mom said he would be in, in Anglican. Then he said, No problem, Anglican is fine. He can live Catholic. And I'm like, It's not even like the Anglican. You people, they, too, they don't even do the good church. They don't, do the good church. they don't even have a party. So why don't he be in my church? I'd like, Why won't he be in my own church? This will go to church. They carry this church for bed. You know, my parents begged them and they said, Never. My mom begged, called the boy and said, this is what I want. Please, can you please? Let this thing be in my church. He said, mommy, see this one. I cannot do it for you. I can't do this one for you. So my mom was, she felt bad. You know, that was even the problem. She felt bad. Then, after some time, the boy said, okay, he was going to speak with his parents and see <clears throat> if they were allowed the wedding to be in my church. Then that was all. The next time I got a call from the mom, mom was like, Um, that her son said, I said this, I said that, I wanted to be in my church. She wants to tell me that it's impossible, it can never happen. Um, that unless I am, don't want this marriage, because if I don't want it to be in the church, then this marriage won't stand, this marriage won't hold. I said, Okay, ma. <laughs> You're just talking, I was saying, Okay, ma. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. <laughs> so, after that call, it's like, you remember, I told the son, look at what we talked. I didn't even reply. I was just saying, okay, 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 ma. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. So, after the call, the boy called me. The son called me back and said, my mom said, no. My mom and my father said, no. They won't accept that. So, that she can't go contrary to what they say. I said, okay. All pleasure for me i'm not in support of that even if i this wedding will be out of my church it will be in your own church i'm not your parents church so he said no never the mother's even if the son accepts that she and her husband will never so what they say is understand is to be in their church and that he heard that the boy said that they want to come so so, so time that that time is far for her and her and her husband she and her husband they have thought about it and the time is far for them so they have decided to give their own time so it's not going to be this they have fixed it so, so they, they were telling me on phone though that the date they wanted to fix to come because i told them to shift everything just push it forward while i still pray while i decide so if it works let's know that while i'm still thinking i will know that see the time frame do you understand so you might say that that time is far that she's been she and her husband has thought about it and have brought it you know backward do you understand so I, if i am not going to allow it be in their church then i should know that i am not going to come into this marriage i said okay mom. so after that time the mom now the boy now called me the boy in question now called me the one i didn't know now called me and said and her mother said no so he doesn't want to know 
Am I insisting that it should be my church? Yes, I'm insisting that it should be in my church. In my church or your own church? And I said, okay. That he doesn't think it will work. I said, no problem. With all pleasure. I wish you all the best. And he ended the call. After two months, this guy got married. He didn't post it. A friend of his posted it on his WhatsApp status. 